Ike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube station. Um, I have been doing uh, IRS work. I've been a national expert for many years. I worked for IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for uh, four decades. I've been doing this 50 years this October 20th. That's the day I started IRS. So I am, like I said, a national expert in IRS resolution matters. I I just sit at uh, home and my condo here in South Florida, bust my videos out. Uh, I never thought years ago I'd be doing YouTubes, but I kind of like it. I have about 4,300 subscribers and my goal is um, to give you the truth, give you insider information from what I as a former IRS agent knows to go ahead and to make sure I can educate you and give you the information that you, you need to know so you can at least make, make, make a decision that's worthy uh, of you to spend your money or do it, uh, do, your, do it yourself. I have a whole team of former IRS agents. Um, you can look at my website. I'm on TV a lot, by the way. You may have seen me on TV. I'm, I've been on Fox, ABC, NBC, not advertising. They call and ask my opinion on subjects. Anyway, you can look at those at 777irs.com. You can look at my team. You can go to my description section below and find out who we are if you need to contact us. Um, a lot of people who owe debt want to know the different programs that IRS has available to them, and that's what I want to talk to you about. So as a former IRS agent or revenue officer, that's what I used to do. I used to go out, bust on doors, did a lot of other things, work narcotic trafficking, couple covert operations and stuff, but mainly um, I'd bang on doors and um, I would go ahead and uh, and I put people in different programs. So you all need to know what programs there are. It's the only way you're gonna make a decision on, on what happened. So if you owe debt, IRS uh, has to go ahead and close your case off the enforcement computer. What's the enforcement computer? Well, IRS, once they start sending you a series of notices, you're in the enforcement cycle. They're gonna send you a, 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 a different CP14, CP501, CP503, CP504, uh, 1058, and so forth. That's all to go ahead and pretty much close your case off this massive, massive, massive computer system. So it's called the K2 computer system. So your case is not active and they're not gonna send out levies and wage garnishments and liens and all that. So IRS had to figure out how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna close these massive, about millions of cases that are sitting out there? So basically IRS has three programs and I'm just gonna tell you a little, I've got a crap load of videos on all of them. The first one is they can put you in a currently non-collectible or hardship program. They can put you into a payment agreement agreement or an offer and compromise. How does IRS do all this? There has to be one tool, uh, one tool or one something that IRS is going to use to make a determination and that is they take a financial statement on you. They take a, a 433F if your case is in the service center or a 433A if your case is with a revenue officer. So when they get that information, they analyze it, they look at the documentation, they're either gonna put you, like I said, in a currently non-collectible payment or offer and compromise. So as a former agent, I'd look at those forms, I'd wanna verify them. How do I verify them? Well, once I get the form, I ask for bank statements, I ask for cancel checks. I look at expenses. I want to see what the assets are that you have and where you're spending your money. So what IRS wants to do is find out, well, how are you going to pay them? So how the two things they're going to look at is your assets, your liquidity, and the income you have and where your money is going. So based on that financial statement, IRS will put you into a currently non-collectible program, a payment agreement program, or the offer and compromise. Each one's a little different, so let me just tell you real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. These are the home of the five-minute videos. Look at the other videos if you want. If you're uncollectible, that means you really can't pay IRS right now. IRS has standards in every county in the United States. It says if you live in this county, this is what you need 
need to be living on. We're going to fix your expenses for food and clothing, for housing and utilities, for car payment, and all that stuff. We're going to limit what you can have. If you have money left over from that, you got to pay us monthly. If you don't, they're going to put you in hardship or currently non-collectible. Cases stay in currently non-collectible, usually for a couple years, and then they come out to the field and reevaluate your penalties and interest run on this, just so you know. If your case is a payment agreement, there's a couple type of payments. You can go online and make a, like a, a streamlined payment or pay like over five, six, seven years, whatever that is. Or if you want to make a payment and you can't make a, a, a consistent payment and pay it off over six years, they're going to look at your financial statement and put you into a payment program based on your financial statement. The other thing they're going to do is they could possibly say, you know, you're eligible for an offer and compromise why don't you go ahead and file for an offer and compromise there's my damn dog he always comes in at the five six minute mark he always shows you your ass Sammy what are you doing why do you do this to me you think I had a damn button to push Take a bow, Sammy, now leave. Thank you. So anyway, if you're an offer and compromise program uh, candidate, um, <laughs> you better be careful with the offers because of this. There's a lot of sleazeball companies out there. They will rip you off in a second because you have a salesman who don't know what they're doing. They're going to tell you a line of crap. They're going to get in your pocket. They're going to promise they can settle your debt, and they can't. If you think you're an offer and compromise candidate, you must give the IRS financial statement that they're going to require to someone to look at. And that person has to be an attorney, a CPA, or an enrolled agent, a former IRS, someone who works the offer and compromise. Because people will take your money in a second. They're not eligible. You have no idea how many calls I get on this phone of people who've been ripped off. First of all, there's an IRS pre-qualifier tool that you can go on and find out if you're qualified. It's about 80% accurate. The other thing you have to know that IRS is going to want your total liquidity. If you have $100,000 in assets, IRS isn't going to settle for any less than $100,000. So if you think you want to settle your debt, make sure you send your financial statement to somebody competent like us somebody who's been doing this for a while like us, someone who's worked the offer and compromise program like us before you give your money to anybody. Don't get ripped off, please. If this information, oh, by the way, you have to file all your tax returns. Please get them up to date. By the way, if this information was helpful, leave me a subscription. You'll want to get a hold of us. Uh, subscriptions are big to me. Please give me that. And at the end of the day, if you want any more information to contact us, look in the description section below. I'm so sorry. This was an eight-minute video. Uh, my bad. Bye-bye.